3368 Chuck 6. Four nine oh nine three nine two check five. So I'll just post that, let everyone know it's just past me. Yeah. And then if someone needs it up north, they'll go to Wigan or Preston or Carlisle and they'll go and see it there. So and that passed at 13.05. And then that's it. So what I do is just hit send. You've got like people want to post the photos. Um, some people will post locations of the engines or what they're up to today. That was James. Yeah, I think his, his dad works for one of the railway companies. So his dad sends him these like um, location of the engine was at Crewe. Certainly nowadays people expect a higher level. You know, they don't expect to see almost handwritten things. You know, um, they don't tend to stand and read long pieces of text. They want more audio. Um, and, and in general, a lot of the, the younger members of the public are that used now to touch screens, to interactive displays. That's what they need. If you don't offer it them, they, they won't come. The security measure relates to platform number like that before. Takes two nice pictures. It progressed quite a lot um, from the this anorak person that used to be to this more digital spotter, as I'd call it. It's important because it's traditional and the old part of the romance with the railways is the steam, the passion for it and all part of the package is the tools that go with it as well, working on them and how you maintain them as well. So using traditional tools to do it is all part of the hobby and the passion that the people that volunteer here come to work on. It's really keeping skills alive um, from previous generations, from sort of 150, almost 200 years ago, um, and sort of keeping them going into the present day. Um, if you didn't do it, the whole skills would, the, the skill base would die out, and it, it just keeps it going.